What's happening everybody? Welcome back to Screen Realm, or I should say welcome to Screen Realm if it's your first time. My name's Guillermo and today I'm going to be watching the trailer for Ghosted, an action adventure comedy romance starring Chris Evans and Ana de Armas, two very talented, very attractive individuals who have actually been in films together before. This is the third film with both of them together. They were previously in The Green Man for Netflix and they were also in Knives Out. So they certainly know each other well by this point. Hopefully they've got the chemistry down pat because this is the type of film that really needs that chemistry from the two leads to be on point. Now um, I'm like 16 hours late with this trailer by the uh, by the time that I've recorded this so uh, in internet time that's like seven years too late so let's just dive straight into it. This is the trailer for Ghosted which is an Apple film by the way. I was just wondering if you wanted to, um, you know, go out sometime. You want to get a coffee? Did now? he just stop picking her <laughs> yes, up now. while she's Ugh. sitting in the car park? Or... That's boldy. I'll just hang on. <laughs> Always wear your seatbelts, kids. Her name is Sadie. I mean, I know this sounds crazy, but I think she might be the one. Oh, she's the one. Ooh. Action already. She really is great. You'll see. Any word? She ghosted him. I like that they're, they're um, starting this trailer. Just travel a lot for which work. Which is just like a romantic comedy. We're going to London. So he goes to London to chase her down or to find her. See, you get it. A little it's creepy, a right? I don't know. Gesture. Yeah, that is amazing, mate. 5,000 miles. It's a romantic it's a gesture. It's a girl you've only met once, especially if she's the one who ghosted you. No, no, she didn't ghost me. She just doesn't have an international calling plan. Oh, right. No international calling plan. Apparently, the internet doesn't exist. Ah, here we go. Where am I? Oh, God. You, you have the wrong guy? So I'm a former. Wait, wait. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, boom. There she is. Can you walk, Gold? On the brains behind it, and a producer of Top Gun Maverick, just the one. Who are you, CIA? So confused. They kept asking me about the tax man. They asked you about the tax man. They think I am a tax man. This cave sets. You're the tax man. Oh my god. Oh my god. So the bickering begins as well, huh? You got me kidnapped. <laughs> His suitcase just blew up. I saw the rock! You're the one who flew to London! It was a romantic gesture! It's a romantic gesture, there it is again. Car chases, what's cool? Get every bounty hunter on the continent. I want to. Adrian Birdie! Alive. Hell yeah. This is bigger than you and me. Clean sequence, cool. Did it never occur to you that he could be a foreign asset trying to compromise your mission? Why would you have that line in the trailer? He could be a foreign asset. So he could be an agent, maybe, Which as well? Are you? I hope they didn't give that away. I'm the boyfriend. I could do this someday. Do you trust me? Is that a joke? Apple TV Plus streaming April 21st. It looks fun. Um, it's certainly a broad, broad appeal kind of film. And they could be done pretty well if the writing is on point and the the cliches are kept down to a minimum or at least delivered in a kind of original way. I don't know. It reminds me a bit of um, Red Notice, more in the sense that Red Notice for Netflix, that was kind of a film aiming to be as broad and um, mainstream blockbuster-ish as possible, but I, I didn't really I didn't really dig it. And I remember reading one review for um, Red Notice that said, this is like a film that's made that's been made off an algorithm, which kind of it kind of was. I'm hoping this isn't, it looks like a decent time, it looks like that type of fun, you know, blockbuster with two awesome attractive leads bouncing off each other, but it does look like some light fun. Um, I was actually surprised by the who the director is, it's Dexter Fletcher, he's an actor turned filmmaker whose credits include Rocket Man, the Elton John film starring Taron Egerton, he also was the, well, 
he wasn't really the official director but he was brought in to finish off Bohemian Rhapsody as director when Brian Singer was fired from that film with around two weeks left to go on principal photography. He's a solid director in my opinion. He also directed Eddie the Eagle with Hugh Jackman and Taron Egerton and Sunshine on Leith and the script comes from Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick. Those guys wrote uh, Deadpool, Life, Zombieland, Deadpool 2 and they've written the screenplay with Chris McKenna, screenwriter on Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, Spider-Man No Way Home, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. So there we have it, a decent director, some decent writers, Chris Evans and Ana de Armas. It should be a good time. Hopefully, I like the fact that Adrian Brody is in this as well. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Does this look like your kind of film? Are you interested in seeing Anna Darmas and Chris Evans in a film like this together? Hit up the comment section below. And as always, be sure to hit the subscribe button in case you still haven't. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you soon.